it's Mark. I am the Sanderson Collector, and I am here today to make an admission. I bought some books that are illegal. There is something called the Byrne Convention, or Bernie Convention, I'm not sure, B-E-R-N-E, and it says, among other things, essentially, that authors have the copyright to their work and should be paid if their work is translated and published in your country, and countries that sign and agree to this are called signatories of the convention. Bangladesh is one of these signatories, so books published in the country, specifically books published in Bengali, should be licensed, but some of these are not. What happened is I saw, ooh, there's a really cool Bengali edition, and I went out and found a website where I could order it here to the United States ordered all the different editions that the website would let me get, got them in, showed them off in some of my chats, and Peter, one of Brandon's assistants, said, oh, only one of those books is actually licensed. The rest are not. And so, the rest of these books are illegal. And yes, to answer your questions, the ones that are illegal, I have reported. Peter saw them. Jabberwocky, Brandon's agency, saw them. I don't know if there's anything they can do about these editions, but they have been reported to the appropriate authorities, and we will see if anything happens. I would also like to note, I did not know these books were illegal when I bought them. I do not condone buying illegal books and supporting the people who put them out without paying the authors their royalties, but because I already have these books, and I got them before I found out that they were illegal. Here they are. The first book, which is the one that I was actually initially looking for, is the licensed book in Bengali, and it is an edition of Mistborn, which is absolutely a gorgeous edition with some really cool art on the cover. It includes a very, very cool cover under the dust jacket, and it comes with a translated map inside as well. And this edition is a really cool edition, and I am glad that it is licensed. However, artwork in this edition, which is not even good quality in a lot of places, it was just ripped from the internet and stuck into the book, is not licensed. For example, here is Ben McSweeney's illustration of the Lord Ruler from the Crafty Games books. They just kind of took this stuff without asking and stuck it in here. So even though this book is licensed, the art in it is not. Next up, we have two competing editions of Steelheart, and these have different publishers, different translators, and they have the same title. So at least some of the translation went the same. However, the text inside is going to differ. And you can see here on the first page how much that text differs between the two editions because they have different competing illegal translations. The covers are in these are pretty cool though. I especially like this one for the way it echoes the various US covers. I think they are cool additions and I like the representation of the Reckoners on the back of this one. I just wish, you know, they were licensed. Here we have a copy of Legion with a very gritty Stephen Leeds just shattering into pieces with representations of his various figments over here, his various personalities. And again, it's in Bengali. They even took the art from the Legion Omnibus to use for the chapter headers. I'm sure they did not consult Isaac about this in any way. It's not even a great quality printing. The spine is coming apart here. Yay, illegal books. The last one strikes me as kind of ironic. Do you know what book this is? Go ahead and leave me a guess in the comments before I tell you, because when I saw this cover and saw that this was a Brandon book, I could not figure it out. Okay, this is Snapshot. This right here in the middle, the police officer badge, is meant to be the reality badge. And, uh... Apparently the police chasing people is a cat and mouse game with bullets and blood splatters. I really don't understand, but this is Snapshot, and it strikes me as quite ironic that Snapshot 
got translated because it's all about upholding the law and being a police officer. And this translation is quite, quite illegal. Okay, and that's going to be everything for this week's video. Those are my Bengali editions of Brandon's books, licensed and unlicensed. There is an additional Emperor's Soul edition that I think is unlicensed, and there's a Legion edition that is licensed, and oh my god, the cover on that one. When I talked to Peter about it, he said it is the worst cover he has ever seen on a Brandon book. It looks like this, and yeah, you can see. So that's everything for this week. Um, do you have any illegal books? Did you realize that these books were illegal? Were you surprised to know that these illegal books existed? Go ahead and leave me a comment below to let me know the answers for you to those questions. And if you want to make sure you catch future videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed this one, remember to leave me a like. I will be back tomorrow with my Co-Loss Head Munching Day giveaway. And I will be back next week with the Coloss Head Munching Day or State of the Sanderson wrap-up and summary and reactions, and I will see y'all in those future videos, and until then, happy collecting.